want to live my life closer to thee. One of the most powerful relationships with God that I have come to know is through the gift of friendship. Yes, friendship. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, than someone lays down his life for his friends. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, I have here with me, I have a stick. And this stick is just a visual to give us a connection to two important acts of being a friend. First one is actually uh, thinking of a walking stick. Because walking side to side is what friends do best. They walk with us both, both metaphorically and literally, through the highs and the lows, through the ups and downs of life, through the mountaintops, through the valleys, and even in the mundane, they get to experience the weather and just the day-to-day -day life with us. The stick can also remind us of fire. I have a history of camping, and I know the power of a campfire can bring where you come, people come together and just have that conversation where they share their hearts and their plans and have true connection and some of the best friendships are formed there. In both of these, we actually can see how God did just this. I want us to consider these four people that called, God called a friend in the Old Testament. First, we have Enoch. In Genesis 5.24, it says, Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more, because God took him away. I love thinking that, about that walk like this. They're walking along, and one day God says, hey, you want to come home with me? And Enoch says, sure, I'd love to do that. And so they head off to God's home where Enoch gets to spend eternity. What a, what a cool gift and what a cool walk with a friend. Next, we think of Noah in Genesis 6-9. It says, Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Think about that. Noah and God walking, and one day Noah, or God says, I've got a crazy plan. It's going to be important for the entire world, and there's going to be a lot of rain, and I'm going to need you to build something. Now, we don't know that this conversation went exactly like that. Maybe that, that walking was more metaphorical, but we do know that Noah spent his time with God through the ups and the downs, so much so that he trusted him with a crazy plan, like building the boat in the middle of the desert. In Exodus 33:11, we have the beginning of one of the biggest friendships. That's with Moses and God. In there it says, The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. And I think of that first encounter at that burning bush as one of the best campfires, the original campfire, where God calls Moses over to that bush and says, Hey, I've got a crazy plan I want to share with you. We're going to free some people. Are you up for it? And thus begins an amazing friendship and an amazing journey together. And then this walk between Abraham and God, where God calls Abraham out of Ur. And they're going on a walk, right? And they're walking together. And one day God says, Abraham, I have a plan. Check out the stars. Aren't they beautiful tonight? Can you count them? Because part of my plan is that one day you will have descendants that are greater than the stars in the sky. And check out, check out the sand. Can you count those grains of sand? Because my plan is that one day your descendants will number greater than those grains of sand. And in Isaiah 41.8, God calls Abraham my friend. What a powerful thing that is. Can you imagine those walks with God? The highs and the lows, the mundanes, hearing his heart and his plans for humanity. Now back to John 15. Again, in John 15, 13, it says, Greater love has no one than this, than he that would lay down his life for a friend. We're told that this gift of love, the sacrificial gift of Jesus dying on the cross for us, is given to us in friendship. And to me, that is a powerful thing. Jesus is the one speaking here, and he could have said, A father laying down his life for his son, a king laying down his life for his servant, Shepherd for sheep, we have lots of ways and relationships that we think about, but the one that Jesus told and the one that Jesus cho chose to depict this with was friendship. Think on that for a moment. God has extended his hand of friendship to you. In that friendship, he has given you the greatest gift of all, 
and let that be a gift to you today. That God, the Almighty, the Father, the King, the Shepherd, your Savior, is your friend. And he's excited to be in that friendship with you. Will you pray with me? Jesus, thank you for this amazing act of friendship. Yes, in your sacrifice on the cross for us, but also that you walk with us day in and day out through the highs and the lows and the mundane. Lord, let that be a blessing to us today that no matter what, no matter who we are, where we are, what our day holds, we have a friend with us. Let that be a comfort and a joy for us this day and every day. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. If you don't have one, consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.